Eons ago, when the light was all scarce, worlds would collide under the pain of despair. Two old beings, whose future was all blight, held a duel of tools where even the victor must die. The snake was drowned in fury, but the scorpion smiled with fright. The war raged on, and the scorpion was cornered in fight. With one stroke of courage, it met its timely demise, and so the victor perished, so did the martyr of night. Look up in the night, and gaze amidst the blight. The snake has no remains, but the scorpion shines very bright. Hello everyone, I am the Holy Hermit, and right when you thought there could be no more, here I am to present you a specialized monk build that will allow you to decimate elites and mobs on MP10. This amazing build is a jack of all trades, meaning your monk can dual wield, use a two-hander, or play on Reaper of Souls without having to worry about skill speed. Elites and mobs around you will have a low morale, whilst your monk sails its way to the victory. So let's begin, shall we? Part 1 of this video is about the gear requirements of the build. The build so appropriately named Spirited Sting requires you to have a Stone of Jordan with at least 2 Spirit Regen and resource reduction to Lashing Tail Kick by 4-5 to five seconds. The other gear piece needed is a Spirit Stone with 2 Spirit Regen, so my suggestion here would be an Ena's Radiance. If you wish to play this build while steel wielding, get a 3% life steal on your gear. If you enjoy the company of a two-hander however, get a Scorn with at least 5% life steal. A side weapon here is the almighty flying dragon with life steal and resource cost to lashing tail kick by 5. If you wish to try this build on reaper of souls however, try to get gear piece with damage increase to lashing tail kick. So you see where this is going right, the amount of money you spend on your gear is pretty minimal, a few millions of gold will allow you to decimate the hardest of foes. In part 2, I will explain the build in more detail. Your primary skill of choice is Fists of Thunder with Quickening to generate tons of spirit even when you have a single target in your gaze. Your secondary skill is Tempest Rush with Bluster. Do understand that this is your escape skill, an alternative for speed of course is a Rune Tailwind. Your main damage dealer is Lashing Tail Kick with Scorpion Sting. You attack enemies in a wide arc and stun the hapless foes who dare to stand for too long. Next skill is Sweeping Wind with Inner Storm for consistent damage and spirit regeneration. Exploding Palm with Flesh is weak for making elite susceptible to more damage. The final skill is a Mantra. Use Mantra of Healing Circular Breathing when you wish to Tempest Rush while Steel Wielding, or Mantra of Conviction overall to further weaken the mobs around you. Passives are Exalted Soul and Chant of Resonance. The third passive however must be chosen wisely. Use Transcendence when you wish to dual wield, or use Guardian's Path for tons of spirit regen whilst you wish to take a two-hander. If you are playing this build in Reaper of Souls, replace Sweeping Wind Epiphany with the first rune, to make your monk more of a tank and take your spirit regeneration to a whole new level. In part 3, we discuss the build and gear synchronicity, thereby meaning how to use the build more effectively. The way your character is built, there are two major aspects of this build, spirit regeneration and spirit spending. You generate a total of 14 spirit when your mantra and Sweeping Wind is at 3 stacks. If you're using a two-hander, this number will even go up to 17. The other side of the story is spirit spending, which is done mainly in the form of using lashing tail kick. With a resource reduction of 5 or 10 if you're using a flying dragon, each kick will only cost a mere 11 spirit. So when you have a spirit fool of 250, 14 spirit regen and 25 is the total cost of kick, you can spam over 22 kicks with the total damage exceeding that of normal bells, especially when knockback is taken into consideration. Do bear in mind that if you're using a two-hander, your spirit cost for each kick is reduced to just 8 or even 3 if you're actually using a flying dragon. The way you play with the build is very simple. Use Tempest Rush to speed around the map. Locate a large group of monsters or elites and activate your sweeping wind. Put an exploding palm on the toughest of foes and keep kicking until your spirit runs out. The secret behind Scorpion Sting is that it allows you to stun lock enemies in one place and usually with the help of palm, an elite pack will die way before you run out of spirit. When the pool is empty however, use quickening to generate your spirit pool. The sheer awesomeness of this build will allow you to fill your spirit pool in less than 3 seconds. So keep kicking those monsters. If you ever get in a tough spot however, use Tempest Rush to make room and reduce incoming damage from monsters. 
A side note here is about Reaper of Souls. The Epiphany skill will allow you to generate tons of spirit, so when the skill is active, your spirit pool will truly be infinite. Such is the promise here. In the end, the build is about generating and spending extreme amounts of spirit. Your passive spirit region is very high and comes from your gear and build. The damage over time you deal is great as you can spam Lashing Tail Kick to dance your way to victory. So give this build a go, for it is the one true and unique build that can work with every popular playstyle. Dual wielding, two handing, you simply can never falter with this build. This has been the Holy Hermit for you, and you just witnessed the prowess of Spirited Sting. Subscribe to the channel for more silly builds. And to clarify in the end, yes, I do have Reaper of Souls beta, so please do join me on my streams and help me discover the next big build.